what's happening everybody amp capo here black adonis games um you guys will see i have two screens open here um and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we're doing here i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up that zombie video so if you uh have the ultimate hit reaction component and you're trying to work those zombies into third person shooter kit um this is for you all right so um just to let you know boom this is third person shooter kit here all right um you want to go ahead and create a project um and then the next one i'm going to go ahead and look it up for you guys so you guys can see what we're using timid and this is this uh is so slow so you guys got to bear with me because i don't want to type too fast or else i'm going to miss something it's just crazy how slow that is all right and then this is ultimate hit reaction component. You're gonna to wanna to also create your project here. Now, if you follow my zombie tutorial, then you're way past all this. So we're just gonna move in. Um, for you guys that didn't, um, I'll, I'll have a, a, you know, a link to it there. And um, we're gonna go ahead and jump in, man. Let's do it. So the first thing you guys are gonna to wanna to do is um, go down and if you have the hit reaction, and I'll go ahead and set this color to green here okay so if you didn't follow my video and you're just coming in straight with hit reaction component you could just take this folder alone the one that says reaction system and migrate it otherwise if you followed my tutorial you want to take all of these and you want to right click and you want to go ahead and press migrate you don't want to change anything you want to press ok make sure you select your content folder then you're going to go ahead and then you you will select that folder and then it will start to dump those items over um i've already done it as you can see here i have all of mine here so um this is my duplicate limbs my meshes and my modular zombies plus my third person kit so that's why we were going to have five folders now as opposed to four okay so once you have that done whoo that's the hard part we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna be using this one now so I'm gonna go ahead and close out ultimate hit reaction component and we're just gonna go straight in here now for the purposes of testing you can do this one of two ways when I was building it I did not put a nav mesh here and I did this you can do this in a blank level you could do it in your level if you want to I just always recommend working in something basic which to me this is basic this is the base kit and so I want to show you how to get it in here it's going to work wherever you put it so this is fine to, to do it here um what we can do is we can put a nav mesh here this is if you want the zombies to actually come towards you um, I would recommend you do it. It's a little bit easier to test them if they actually are functioning the way you want them to. So we could just go here, grab a nav mesh bounds, bring it in here, uh, rotate around so you can kind of get a good overhead view. You could just press overhead, but that's a little bit too much work to press change the view up. Then you have to scroll all the way back from oblivion to get back in. I um, mean, then you can press P it makes it easier for you to see where your nav mesh is I usually do and then we're just gonna take this guys and we're just gonna give them a little room to run because we are gonna add the zombies into the scene here and we're just gonna do that stuff right now let's just get that out of the way all right turn the P off so we don't blind ourselves okay so now the nav mesh is off all right next thing that you can do go ahead in here and just go to your zombie so BP zombie all right and we're just gonna grab a zombie and drag it in you could drag one or two doesn't matter and it may take a minute for it to register there but there we go there we go we have a zombie there unless I just control W and I just made a copy of it so we're gonna have two zombies here I want them facing me 
going to bring this down and we're going to go into game view here so we don't see all the excess but you can see their uh, activation distance and things like that anyway we're going to go ahead and go in so you'll see boom we have two zombies here two generic zombies and the character so we can go ahead and press play right now and we'll see what happens so we got our zombies in nothing's happening man they're they're not hurting me yeah they're hurting each other they're not hurting hurting me at all so there there you have it the zombies are able to kill each other but i can't do they're not interacting with me at all so all right we got the idea so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change all that so the first thing that you want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to go into our BP zombie folder we're gonna do this in some steps because I had a whole bunch of steps way too many and so I, I cut it down to three man so this should be run pretty fast um, I want to just open the two uh, items that you are going to need to open right away you're going to want to open BP zombie and we're going to want to open BP weapon and you want to go here to the component you will see it it's the one that looks like maybe it needs to be plugged in to become whole because it has to be attached to the player or whatever is using it so you want to click on that one as well so these are the two uh, nodes that we are going to be working with today all right um, and this is not going to be very difficult to do guys um, I'm going to close all these other tabs you guys don't worry about it right now I'll tell you which which uh, ones you want to be in so when you go to your zombie you're going to want to go to your attack graph and just double click that all right you're going to want to go down and yours is not going to be red but you'll know it by it says here attacking sphere trace so you want to be in this box that says attacking sphere trace under the attack graph all right so once you're there you're going to go over and you see i highlighted mine red here but if the hit actor has a valid reaction component um, this will call the important update information event and then apply a damage to the character so this is what we want to be able to play with right here first you're going to want to grab these and copy these okay so let's go ahead and we're going to copy those nodes once you have these copied you're going to want to go to your bp weapon here and we are going to go here and you should have a box it may not be the same color as mine but you should have a box here because this is all noted very wonderfully here um and between the hit component here the green box and the damage box here you're going to want to just grab everything on it from the green box over nothing else from the green box over okay and we're just going to slide that stuff down a little bit because we're going to need a little bit of room to paste our objects okay so that should be fine man just give yourself a little room and never paste right up on the object always paste down below so you could drag in so we'll go here and then control v that and we'll paste that in then that way we could see how much room we need before we you know drop it in so there we go um, and now we're going to go ahead and commence to hook these up and then I'll explain a little bit of what's going on while I'm connecting them here so this is basically saying that if the actor has a valid component which is the reaction component um, to apply a update the hit information to the bone which is the bone uh, on the zombies which allows the count to go up so that the bones can be dismembered so basically that's what it does um, that's why this little section is so important and it's all over in that uh, kit if you look around you'll you'll see this everywhere that damage is applied in the zombie kit so then from here guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this damage node and I'm just gonna move this over here and I'll show you guys that a little bit in a minute we're gonna start over here in the front 
Okay, so first, is this valid? If it is valid, it's going to do what it was already doing. Okay, we got to hook these nodes up here. So the traces we're going to get from here, we see hit actor. So the hit actor, you're going to actually connect to this component. Basically, it's the same as if you were to uh, put it here. This is the trace hit results for any weapon using the BP weapon component. Okay, this is going to be the hit result for the line trace from this component. So basically what we're going to do now is I'm just using this is already the set actor. So this is an awesome place to do this is on the set actor. Okay and find out if that actor has a reaction component if so boom carry on okay the next thing we want is the hit component which right here it says hit component how freaking nice is that the words are actually the same um you guys will start to notice over time that you will start to figure this stuff out very easily um it's all about word association and just understanding uh kind of what you're doing and how to read a blueprint in order all right so this is the bone, it's purple. Every time you see purple in one of these graphs, it's gonna relate to the bone. It's just awesome how they do some of these things and color code them, it's just awesome. All right, so the next thing, um, we got the damaged actor, okay? The damaged actor, we're gonna want to be the same thing, the hit actor. Okay? So we can actually bring that straight from here and apply that there all right so now you got a node uh, up here it shows the damage amount you can actually we're gonna go ahead and go well let me go back back guys because I did that kind of fast and I want to explain a little bit more so the hit actor boom um, if that actor has this component um, set the hit uh, the set hit component will be the update information for the bone hit will be placed and then we're going to apply some damage what damage okay that's where we come over here guys and that's why i had to move this over here in its own place because we actually need to get the damage from here and this will be the damage that third person shooter kit already has set up for the weapon data so you're plugging right into something that's already available to you now um the next thing that we're going to want to do before i finish this damage out i'm going to do one more thing you're going to see that we broke this node here that's very very important and that is because this node is that if this character does not have a reaction component carry on without even worrying about any of this it's just gonna move forward into the logic and continue to damage as normal this is what we want so that way whether the character has this component or not they will be damaged by this weapon thus we're adding this in without affecting what the logic that's already there so the only way we're affecting is if the actor happens to have this component now the logic changes and switches over to this logic now from here we're going to want to also come out and go back here it'll set the damage um which will already be set which is kind of weird it works but it does um and then from there we're going to uh not touch the damage type we don't need that we don't need to touch the instigator we don't need to do anything else guys that should be it for that logic we can compile this now and we should be able to test this up uh, what did we forget damage causer let's go in and see what it's saying here oh damage causer we don't need to have this we can actually delete that um and refresh my bad guys there we go so let's just delete that self get rid of that okay and so now we should be good that should be all tied in and the blueprint should be nice and green let's go ahead and press save as a matter of fact, let's just do a save all, which is control shift S. And we are going to go ahead and test this real quick and see if uh, our bullets should now be doing damage to the zombies. So our zombies are coming up. They can't touch us. But what can we do? There you go, guys. And there it is so now we got the damage there all right the next step 
Super easy, guys, ain't it so far? That's not that bad. All right, the next step is now we're going to go back to the zombie. This is going to be so easy, guys, I'm telling you. This is the best way to do it. Promote this to a variable. So this is going to create a damage type class. And then make this instance editable. And I'm going to tell you this why. I'm going to tell you why you want to do this. I'm sorry, I'm going to tell you this why. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why you want to do this. The reason why you want to do this is because this way, every class that you create of this character, you will be able to select this class for that character. And if you're planning on spawning characters as well, you may want to go ahead and expose this on spawn as well. So that way, if you spawn this character, this option will come up in your uh, spawn node, okay? So, and I'll explain that stuff another time in another video, but that's really important. So now that you've done this, you want to go ahead and compile. Once you've compiled it, you will see that you have a damage class and you're able to select it here. Now, remember guys, this is the zombies hit sphere. So this is when the zombie punches us. If we go to the viewport here, the zombie has hands here and these little globes here are the damage uh, globes. So, you know, that's basically the sphere that damages your character when it's notified inside the animation it's going to trigger this to apply damage so what we're going to do here uh, back in the zombie attack graph is we're going to set that damage to something that works with our character and third person shooter kit so we'll just select something that makes sense um, this zombie doesn't look all that strong so i'm just going to pick light punch so every time this uh, zombie hits our character it should slap us with a light punch now okay this is the damage base which I would promote this to a variable as well and I would also expose this if you're planning on spawning these characters or using them in any unique ways besides making one character if you're planning on making uh, children of this actor making child class actors then you're going to want those things to be exposed so that you can use them and i'll show those things in other videos so let's go here and you'll see there's a is not valid what we got to do is we need to hook that up the same way as we did in the other graph because now it's not going to injure any character that that does not have this reaction component so now if it doesn't it's just going to go ahead and injure them anyway okay so now let's go in and try it and this should work fine so let's let them come up and get us. Ah, oh, look at that. So that wasn't that bad, guys, at all. So now they're able to injure us, and we're able to also uh, fight back. So there you have it, guys. You're able to uh, use those zombies now. That has been merged. Man, I want to uh, take this time to thank everybody who has subscribed uh, to the channel since the last time that I posted a video, man. I really appreciate it, man. Um, I wanted to get this one done a lot faster, but I wanted to take out a whole bunch of steps, man. There were just a whole lot of steps before, and now that's really easy, man. So there you have it. Simple and effective. Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games, man. Like, subscribe, check us out on Discord, all of that.